how to create an Excel VBA macro from scratch. We're not going to so much be writing code as just get you started with a recorded macro. So what we're going to do is use a recorded macro and then we're going to edit the recorded macro. What I'm going to do is look at airline safety. It's a data set that's available out there and I just picked it because it had 57 rows that was useful. So airline safety, we're going to open a CSV file, format it, pull the numbers out and um, you're going to learn some stuff. So let's get to it. And hey, if you find this video useful, don't forget to like and subscribe. It's uh, good for the channel and it encourages me to uh, keep doing this stuff. So the first step with writing an Excel VBA macro is you need to ensure that the developer tab is enabled. So what we're going to do is go to file, then we're going to click on options, and then we're going to go to customize ribbon. And if we go over to this area here, the customized ribbon area, you'll see that in a lot of situations, the developer tab is not enabled. So click that to enable it, click OK, and hey presto, the developer tab exists here. So we've enabled our developer tab. Now the situation is we're going to create a macro. So first of all, let's add a new workbook. So I get a new blank workbook. This is where our macro is going to reside. Step one is save the macro as a macro workbook. So save as, browse, and I'm going to save it to this particular folder here. And I'm going to call it airline safety numbers. And I'm going to save it as a macro enabled workbook. Okay, there we go. Save the X with an extension of XLSM. Save. That's that bit done. So now it's time to record the macro. So here we go. Step one is uh, record macro. Click on that. Uh, mac just call it macro four. Um, I'm going to call it ASAF for airline safety. I'm going to give it a key of H, control H. And so control plus H will run the macro. And you can put a description in there if you want. And I've chosen to save it in this workbook. So the code will be embedded in airline safety numbers that XLSM. So we click OK and we're recording. We know we're recording because it says stop recording here. So step one is going to be to open the airline safety file. So I go to open and I've got my airline safety that CSV remembered here. So I just click on that and it's opened it. So step one is going to be to what I'm going to do, what we're going to do is we're going to auto fit the columns like that. And I'm going to decide the columns that I don't want. So this column here shows average seat kilometers per week. So this is how many kilometers each seat each person traveled on average uh, each seat and each plane within the airline traveled on average so i'm not in interested in incidents i'm only interested in fatal accidents because i want to know what went wrong so um the period covers uh, 1985 to 1999 and 2000 to 2014 so we're going to want to aggregate these two columns so what i'm going to do is also i'm going to delete, uh, let's see, fatalities and fatal accidents. So what I'm more interested in is the fatal accidents because you can see here you have 88 deaths in one plane, 337 deaths in two planes. But what's really going to matter to you is how many planes went down. Um, so let's just uh, look at the aircraft. So we'll delete fatalities here. Uh, we'll delete incidents. Remember, all of this has been recorded and we will delete fatalities for 85 to 99 here okay the next step we want to do is make these numbers here easier to read so i'm going to put thousands commas in so i'm just going to select the column and then i'm going to choose format cells and i'm going to choose custom and i'm going to choose this format here and that will format all of those cells. The next step in the macro is I want to sum 85 to 99 and 2000 to 2014. So I just get one number that I have to deal with. Here we go. Uh, choose cell E2 and equals sum. And I'm just going to sum it like that. Next step is I want to uh, copy these down. So that's uh, sums the cells down to the end of the uh, range. I'm going to double check by doing end down and we know, yes, all the uh, 
complete range has been summed. So the next step is going to be to name this column and I'm going to call it F for fatal uh, 85 to 14. So 1985 to 2014. And the next step is we want to delete these two columns because we don't need them any longer. But, but before we do that, what we got to do is move these formulas to values. Otherwise we will lose the data. So control C to copy and RTSV to pay special values. And when we do that, you can see you've got numbers in there now. So the next step and what's going to be interesting is those cursor movements will have been recorded in the recorded macro and you're not going to want those. So we're going to go into the recorded macro later and adjust it. So now let's delete these two columns here because we no longer require them. And what we're now going to do is work out how many miles um, each airline was able to do before it had an accident. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select cell D2 and I'm going to type equals if is error is error and it's going to be C let me see what is it going to be it's going to be B2 B2 divided by C2 and so if that errors because there'll be a hash divide by zero error in this particular row you just put in zero otherwise put in B2 divided by C2 and we close the parenthesis and now what I want to do is just copy these down and there we go and I'm going to now put a header in here and I'm going to call it accidents by mile accidents by mile okay and then the next step is going to be to auto fit the column and what I'm again going to do to this is I'm going to will I turn it to values no I'll leave it as a, as a formula okay so the next step now is we're going to sort descending because we want to see the worst offenders so i'm going to select the data and i'm going to choose data sort and i'm going to sort first of all by f85 to 85 to 14 rather and i want to sort descending and i'm going to add another level and i'm going to sort by accidents by mile and then largest to smallest and let's do it okay so there we have the data so now we stop the recorder so let's um let's first of all select the uh cell a1 so that the uh, selection goes and now let's go back to the developer tab and stop recording let's put in a button for this macro while we're at it insert form controls yeah we'll use form controls get a button just draw a button on the spreadsheet and we're going to assign the macro to ASAF, our airline safety macro. Click OK and um, I'm just going to call it open file and process. OK, that's good to go. And now you see you get a hand when you do that. We'll now go look at the macro and it's in module one double click on it and here is the macro we created so now let's go and make sense of it one way of making sense of it is to step through the macro slowly see what it's doing and then you can edit it and put in comments and take out stuff that's superfluous so let's do that right now so i'm going to save my macro again and remember don't save the file you opened because it opened a different text file we're saving the controller sheet so to speak so now i am going to go to my view menu i'm going to switch back to the airline safety that csv file and i'm just going to control close it by pressing control f4 and don't save we don't want to save that okay so now if i click in the bar to the right of to the left of the code that's called a breakpoint so when i run the code the code will stop here and we can step through the code and see what it's actually doing so there's two ways of running it by either pressing your control and your h key or h key whichever you prefer or clicking the button let's click the button so there we go we have got the the button running so range f G15 select that is clearly superfluous we don't need it because it's just selecting a range and not doing anything so let's just get rid of that right now by deleting it out 
and now I press the F8 key to uh, see what's happening next. So this obviously opens the file and you can see the, um, the path there. So we open it, there's the file and let me just move it so it, it's a bit clearer there. Okay, so you can see first of all columns A to H dot select, it selected them, auto fit the columns. Now what you can do at this point is put in some comments so when you're coming back later you know what it's doing. So you can just put auto fit columns A to H. And remember, so to put a comment in, it's a single quote character followed by the comment. And in VBA, you can see it's green. Now, you know, this is not the way I write code. And when you're experienced, you'll probably just start writing proper VBA code. But hey, this gets you up and running, automating your workflows, which is what you want to do to get started. Everybody has to start somewhere. This is a good place to start. Okay, so let's get to the next thing. This is where we start deleting columns. I know because I just remembered. Okay, so column C, select column C, delete it. Select column G, delete it. Select column E, delete it. Select column D, delete it. And select, let's see, range B1. So let's, before we do anything, I'm, we know that that group there is deleting the columns we don't require. And so now what we're doing is we're getting a range and we're number formatting it with commas. So let's just put a comment in there to say that we are comma formatting column B available seat kilometers per week. Okay, so let's continue. So E2, that select, active formula, putting a formula in, auto filling, put a comment in there, summing all years. Let's continue. So there, for example, we can see we, we first of all, or the code first of all selected E2 to E57, then it selected E2. Didn't do anything with this, so we don't need it. Delete it. Uh, selection end down dot select. So this was where I was talking to you and just checking things. So basically all of this code here is superfluous it doesn't do anything and that's the thing tidy up your macro code make it more succinct uh, range e1 to that select assign header to accidents yeah okay so the next section is range e2 select then select that then selection dot copy okay so what that's done is it's converted the numbers to values. So put in your single quote, convert column E numbers to values. Sorry, formula to values. Formula, formula numbers to values. Okay, that'll do. Okay, and we got range E1 dot select. Cut copy mode equals false. So that's, as you've just seen, has got rid of the crawling ants, which was the uh, copy selection. Columns D dot select and delete. So so deleting two columns and now range d2 dot select and we're going to put in our is our formula and we're going to auto fill it down and d2 to d57 dot select these two are not required and active cell dot formula actually hang on control z control z so this one it, that one wasn't required but this one here d1 was required so add formula add header Okay, so if we just take the code back up here just to demonstrate. So if, if I put my cursor here and I then press F8, D1 dot select, and it adds the header. And now what it's going to do is it's going to auto fit the column. So what we can also do is add header and auto fit column. Okay, and now range D2 dot select, end up dot select, didn't do anything. Range D1 dot select. So we've done a couple of selections or the code has done a couple of selections because it was copying my keystrokes, but I don't need these to make the code run perfectly. So selection that current region that select, which does that, and I'm going to start sorting. So I'm set, so I'm clearing any previous sorts and now it's setting up the fields for the sort. And now it's putting in some other elements of the sort and then it's going to apply the sort. And that's the data sorted and then selects range A1 again. 
And so there is the macro and there is the macro edited. It's called ASAF, Airline Safety. I forget what the AF was for, doesn't matter. Um, so now we'll just save our code again. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to close the file that we've just worked on, which is airline safety that comma separated values text file. Don't save. And now we're going to just run our macro. And for good um, for for good measure, let's just put in a message box. MSGBOX message box file imported. Okay, and let's run it and open file and process. And will this work? Yay! file imported. There you have it, your first macro. Now, if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And you can also ring the bell and get notified when new videos are created. This is a beginner macro. I normally do advanced macros, but I'm figuring I'll do a few beginner macros now. And you can get the code that's associated with this by going to the link that's displaying somewhere on this video. Thanks for watching.